Hey everyone and welcome to my channel and welcome to this video. Today we will be painting another flowers and this time these flowers are again gonna be romantic. I just started painting flowers and painting them in gray and I thought to myself I want to add a pop of color. I want to add some pink to it. So I decided to share this video and share this painting with you. I will be using for this video this Arch watercolor paper from my watercolor book and I will glue it on top of the MDF board just to make it a little bit more sturdy and just to stretch it a bit so it doesn't really warp even though we're not going to be using a lot of water for this painting so it probably wouldn't warp but anyway I decided to glue it on top of my MDF board. As I mentioned earlier I'm starting off with a gray and I have mixed in a little bit of the blue and some brown, dark brown to create this grayish tone. I love that gray tone created with brown and blue and also painted in the first flower. This time I did not do the sketch. I'm just gonna paint it out of my head. I did do a composition, I guess a little thumbnail for the composition but I did not do a sketch on a paper. You can just paint in any flowers you like, you know, you don't have to paint exactly the same flowers if you have your favorites. You can just use this idea and paint any flowers you have. So I am using that gray tone, adding a bit of the more pigment where the center of the flower is, where the shadows are just to make it a little bit more textures and textured and a little bit more interesting. So adding different flowers, different plants. Quite simple. You can see I'm not really bothered with any, I guess, complex shapes. They're, they're very, very simple. And I'm using one brush only, even though this brush doesn't have a pointy tip. <laughs> I am trying to make those line quite, lines quite thin. But if you have a brush with a pointy tip, round brush, that would be awesome. Some splatters, again with the same gray tone. And while the paint was still wet in some parts, I decided to add a little bit more of that pigment here and there just to make it a little bit more interesting. And you can see how when you mix your gray, paints just split, colors split and they create beautiful textures. So I did leave this to dry completely and now I'm using this soft pink from my, I think this is a sky collection and just going on top of those two flowers, the largest flowers, I'm gonna make those two pink. So just adding a light wash and topping in a little bit more of the pigment and then adding some deep pink to it and again topping in here and there just to add a little bit more of the texture also to those petals. I left it to dry completely. You have to make sure that your flowers are dry because I do want to paint one petal on top of the other and I don't want them to bleed one into each other. I do want to make it look like they're slightly tra transparent. So just make sure your paint for the first petal is completely dry. Also adding a little bit more of the deep pink to the bottom of the petals where the stem is and also painting in the stem, adding a little bit of that pink to the stem. A bit more, some splatters also with that pink. I don't want to go overboard with that, so I'm just picking up. I do want to make those splatters very, very subtle. I left it again to dry completely and then added a little bit more of the details where the stem is. And I guess with that, we are done. Quite simple. So this is a very nice, effective painting, nice idea. So you can use it again for cards for a painting, for any project you like, that's just up to you. 
and I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did enjoy this video, please hit the like button, share it, comment, let me know what you think about this idea. And if you haven't still, please do subscribe to my channel. There are over 400 tutorials, tutorials there, so I'm sure you will find something for yourself. And again, thank you so much for watching and I hope I'll see you next time. Bye!